Ông Quỳnh Châu. President, please be seated. President, please be seated. Ông Chủ tịch Hội đồng Quản trị Tổng Công ty Đầu tư Phát triển Quốc tế Việt Nam, Ông Nguyễn Thế Hùng. La Chambre va entendre le témoin de TCW 828. Ce témoin de Paris, avocat de Bernard Cotter, est invité à inviter le témoin. Veuillez faire entrer le témoin accompagné de son avocat de permanence dans le prétoire. Answer. I was born on the 3rd of April, 1954. President, thank you. Where were you born? Answer. I was born in Phnom Liep village, Phnom Liep commune, Pranet Prea district, Battambang province. Thank you. And what is your current address? Answer. I am living in Tawong village, Phnom Liep commune, Phnom Liep district, Pante Mianche province. President, thank you. President, merci. And what is your current occupation? Quel est votre métier? Answer. I am a rice farmer. Réponse. Je suis riziculteur. President, thank you. President, what are your merci. parents' names? Quels sont les noms de vos parents? Answer. My father's Réponse. name is Nuken deceased. My mother's Nuken name is décédé. Ho Sung deceased. President, thank you. What about your wife? What is her name? How many children do you have together? Answer. My wife's name is Rue Tu. We have three children together. President, thank you, Mr. Chum Singh. Based on the report of the Grafjay, you are not related by law by blood to any of the of the two accused and to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. Is that true? Answer: Yes, that is correct. Question: Before you are here before the trial chamber, have you already taken a note? Answer. Yes, I have Réponse, already taken oui, note. 
President, thank you. The Chamber would like to inform you of your rights and obligations as a witness. Your rights. As a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you, right against self-incrimination. Your obligations as a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comments to those questions may incriminate you as the Chamber has it's just uh, at right view of your rights as a witness. As a witness, you must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the question that the bench or parties pose to you. Do you understand? about the rights and obligation that Monsieur, I have just informed you, Mr. Witness. Answer, yes, uh, I understand uh, oui. some of uh, them, but not all of them. President. President. In case that uh, there are questions uh, because there may be some questions incriminate you, uh, you have requested a duty council to accompany you before this chamber, and uh, the chamber has provided you with a duty council, Mr. Dut Paris, to accompany you while you are testifying, and the lawyer, the duty council, is uh, competent to advise you in, in this case if uh, they arise. And as I have just informed you, you have uh, to tell the cause of your experience that uh, you have uh, seen, observed, and experienced. You cannot give a speculation to the question posed by parties and the bench. And as a witness, you must respond to the question put by the bench or the parties. If you don't know, you just say, don't know. But as I told you, you have to respond to the question by parties and the bench. Mr. Jum Singh, have you ever provided interviews to the investigator of the OCIJ? If yes, how many times were you interviewed and where did they take place? Answer. I provided uh, two interviews. Uh, both of them uh, took place at my house. President, thank you. When did they happen? Could you tell the court? Answer. I could not recall the date. Perhaps the interview the first interview uh, was held in 2011 and the second one perhaps uh, one year before uh, this before 2015 president have you reviewed or read the written record of the interview to refresh your memory votre procès verbal d'audition Answer. Yes, I read it once. Question. To your recollection, to your best knowledge, does the written record reflect what you have given to the investigator of the OCIJ at your house? Answer. I recall some of the statement I made, I gave to the investigator, but I uh, do not recall all of them. President, thank you, Mr. Jum Singh. As you can see, you 
are provided with a duty counsel to, uh, based on your request. Uh, and you have Mr. Deutsch Paris as the duty counsel. Before you are here, have you consulted uh, with your duty counsel, Mr. Witness? Answer. I met and discussed with uh, my UT counsel already. President, thank you. President, merci. Under internal rule 91 bis of the ECCC, the trial chamber gives the floor first to the co-prosecutor before other parties. The chamber would like to note that the combined time for the co-prosecutors and civil party lawyers is three sessions. You may now proceed, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Co-Prosecutor. Good afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honours, everyone in and, in and around the courtroom. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. My name is Sri Ratana. I am the Deputy National Co-Prosecutor. I have a few questions to put to you, and then my international esteemed colleagues, the Deputy International Co-Prosecutor, will have some more questions to put to you. Between 17 of April 1975 and 7 January, of 1979, uh, what was your assignment and where did you work? Answer. I uh, was assigned to be part of uh, a mobile unit from Cambo to Stress. On m'avait demandé de faire partie d'une unité itinérante de Cambo à Stress. Question. Question. Where did you work besides uh, the two places, Cambao and Stress? Cambao and Stress. Answer. After I uh, completed the construction of uh, the dam at uh, Cambao and Stress, I uh, was assigned to build another dam from Stress and Later on, I was assigned to work in a cotton plantation. Question. You mentioned many places just now. I have some questions in relation to the construction work site. So please be clear on this. My questions from now on concern the period you were working at Tropiang uh, construction site. Could you tell the court where Tropiang construction site was? In what village commune uh, was it situated in? Answer. Tropiang Construction site uh, was site in the Poicha Bante Menche province. Question. When were Question. you sent to work at that construction site? Quand vous a -on sur ce site? Answer. I was sent réponse. to work there On from 1976 uh, to 1979. Et Question. Could you clarify it for the court once again? When were you assigned to work at a Topiantmo construction site? Please specify the year when you were assigned to work at Topiantmo site. Answer. It was in 1977. Question. 
question. You were assigned uh, to work at a Bankmore worksite in 1977. Could you tell the court whether it was in early, mid or late 1977? Answer. I was sent to that place uh, in, uh, from 1977 up to from uh, mid 1977 up to uh, late 1977. Question. Question. You stated that you were sent to work at the Pentmo work site from, from mid 1977 to late 1977. Uh, Did the construction there start already when you arrived? Lorsque vous êtes arrivé, la construction avait-elle déjà commencé? Answer. The construction started, had started before I arrived at that place. La avait déjà commencé avant que je n'arrive à cet endroit. Question. To your observation, Question. Que vous avez pu observer, how many workers were there? Combien de travailleurs y avait-il? Answer. From my observation, Réponse. there were workers in the mobile units uh, at co cooperative levels and at the sector levels. Question, how many people Question. were there at the work site? Answer, site? there were 10,000 of workers at that construction site. Question. Besides the members from the union units, uh, where were other workers from? Et à part les membres de votre unité, d'où venaient les autres travailleurs? Answer. Réponse. There were workers from different units. They Il were from Pranet uh, Prea district, Morpu district. De Pranet Prea, d'autres d'autres Morpu. Question. In relation to work, you stated that you arrived at the work site vous avez dit que vous êtes in mid-1977. What was Sur the assignment sentiment. that you received que from the time you were there faire. until the end of uh, the time you work at the, the site? Answer. When I first arrived, uh, members of my unit début, were assigned to carry water so that water could uh, be used to mix the cement and build a bridge one. De co prosecutor. And uh, what, happened, co what happened later on? Et après, que passé? Answer. Later on, Réponse. after après, rock, cement, and the sand. Uh, uh, rent out, and we completed the job. Uh, my uh, lab, uh, my members, épuisés, the members in my unit, were required to carry earth so that we could build the dam. Question. So, Question. you mean you mean that when you first arrived at uh, the Donc, the Bentmore work site? Uh, all of you were required to carry uh, water so that uh, a bridge can be could be built. And later on, uh, all of you were assigned to carry soy to build dam. Is that correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. Question. Beside this work, what else did you do? What else did, your, did the members of your unit do besides carrying water and soil? What else did you and your members do? Answer. 
There was no other assignment réponse. other than uh, the two assignments tâches, I mentioned. À part les deux que je viens de vous Question. Question. In relation to work assignment, how was the work divided in your group? Comment était réparti was there any a work quota for your group? group? Est-ce que votre groupe avait un quota? Answer. Réponse. When I was working there, uh, we were divided into units and Battalions and the members of units and battalion were required to dig earth and carry and carry uh, it to build a dam. Question: You stated that uh, you were assigned to carry to dig earth and carry it to build a dam. Could you tell the court whether there was work quota for you and for your group? Could uh, you do the job as uh, you know as you wanted? And uh, I would like to know whether there was a work quota for you and your group. Answer. Réponse. Yes, there was a work quota. We had to do the assignment based on the plan of Anka, and uh, each of us had to complete. One, two, three cubic meters of soil per day. Creuser, transporter un à deux ou deux mètres cubes par jour. Question: To, in your experience, could you complete or accomplish the work quota? Question: Et est-ce que vous étiez en mesure de venir à bout Answer. du quota? I was Réponse. engaged in the work assignment, but I did not carry the soil. I was on the crest of uh, the dam and platen the soil. Question, why did you not carry the earth but do other job? What was your role and position at that time? Answer. At that time, I was assigned to be a chief of a company. Question. For this reason. Question. Were members of uh, your company able to complete the uh, work quota, for example, one to three cubic quota, meters exemple, of soil per day? De terre par Did jour? members of your company receive you know, uh, certain quota uh, at one particular time and later on uh, did you receive uh, uh, much uh, work to do avez vous reçu beaucoup de travail à accomplir answer there was a set uh, work quota Réponse. for all of us. Each of us, regardless Chacun of rent, has to accomplish a one uh, or three cubic meters of soil per day. Cube de terre par jour. Question. Could Question. everyone accomplish the three cubic meters of soil per day? Les gens tous Answer. À venir à bout du quota? Some could accomplish the work quota, but some Réponse. could not finish the three cubic meters of soil per day. Question, what happened Question. if uh, one could not accomplish the work si quota? Pas à bout de son quota? Answer, for Réponse. those who were not able to accomplish the work quota, for example, Ceux in the morning, uh, one had to accomplish quota, one and a half cubic meter of soil per day, and then in the afternoon, they had to complete another one and a half of uh, so cubic meter of soil per day. And if uh, they could not accomplish the work quota, food uh, would be deprived of question. If one could not Question. meet the work quota, si and you stated that uh, if they quota, did not 
mean the work quota food would be deprived of besides that of what else was the punishment for uh, the one who failed to accomplish the work quota answer I I was the chief of a company in charge of uh, three platoons. So I received a report Donc from chiefs of platoons about uh, whether or not uh, workers could accomplish the work quota, co-prosecutor. Perhaps you did not catch my question, Mr. Witness. I would like uh, you to tell the court about uh, the the, f the case that worker could not accomplish the work quota, and you stated that if uh, they could not accomplish the work quota, they uh, would be food would be deprived of. On les privait de nourriture. What else? What sort of punishment uh, besides uh, was inflicted on the workers who failed to complete to accomplish the work quota besides uh, the food reduction? De leur quota, mis à part la réduction des rations alimentaires. And because of human uh, feeling, uh, the food ration uh, would uh, be uh, given to the worker who could not fully completed the uh, work uh, quota, but uh, for those who, you know, completed uh, the work quota longer than the other, they would uh, go to have meal later than the others. Qui mettait plus de temps que les autres allaient chercher I, le repas Could you tell the court when did uh, when the work started? Uh, Question. Pourriez-vous dire quand le travail a commencé? Answer. It depended. Réponse. Cela dépendait. Uh, Sometimes uh, we had to start work uh, from uh, 4 or 5 a.m. AM in the morning when uh, we needed uh, the workers to, you know, to attack, in to, in, to be in full operation of the work. Question. You stated that uh, workers had to start work uh, very early if there was a plan from the upper echelon. Did this happen regularly? Answer. It did not happen regularly. For the place where the soil was too low in the bottom that we had to dig, we had to work, we, we had to start work very early in the morning, and we had to try to finish the, the work. Question, you stated that a worker had to start a work in the early morning, and then they had to try to complete the work. Does it mean that they had to work overnight? Answer, yes, it is correct. They had to work overnight. Question. Did uh, this happen uh, very often? Answer. Sometimes a worker has to work overnight uh, for a period of one week or perhaps more than that. Question. Question. Could you tell the court or could you elaborate on this point a little bit further? You stated that uh, worker had to work overnight on some occasion, and uh, from my understanding, perhaps they did not have time to rest. And you also stated that they had to work overnight for a period of one week, or perhaps uh, more than one week. Could you clarify this point for the court? Did they have time to rest? Answer. Yes, a worker 
had time to rest oui, while they uh, allow when while they were allowed to have meal and after which they had to go back and work. So you are saying that uh, for 24 hours around the clock and uh, seven day a week uh, they had to work and they only uh, broke uh, during uh, the time when they had uh, cruel and that was for a short period of time as well. Is that correct? Well, that's, that's a Thank you, Madam Floyd. The President, uh, Mr. Witness, please hold on, and Council, you may proceed. Um, I think that's a uh, overly broad summary of uh, the witness's testimony. I don't think he said that workers were working 24 hours except for eating gruel. Je pense que c'est résumé de façon un peu trop générale les propos du témoin, et je ne crois pas qu'il ait dit qu'il travaillait 24 heures par jour, sauf lorsqu'il mangeait de la soupe. Mr. Prosecutor. Uh, Mr. President, I do not know whether or not uh, it was lost in the translation, but I ask him, may I ask him for a, rep uh, repeti a repetition in his uh, uh, answer? I ask him whether or not you uh, had to work the whole day from 24 hours around the clock, and then he said it was. The council, Kung uh, I am of the opinion, Mr. President, that uh, the witness should be uh, questioned again on this issue because uh, the questions may have uh, led to some misunderstanding, so I think that uh, it would be uh, good if the prosecutor could put the question again for clarification. The President, um, uh, please uh, put the question again to the uh, witness, Mr. Prosecutor, because I think that it is uh, virtually impossible for uh, working 24 hours around the clock. Uh, please uh, clarify the question. We understand the nature of the uh, work site uh, uh, with some uh, forced uh, labors or so, but uh, we need to ask for clarification on uh, this issue and we have to be uh, precise on each point. Prosecutor, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, it is a bit weird, that's why I ask him uh, to uh, clarify it uh, again. That's why I uh, uh, Confirm, but I take your um, direction that oui. I put the question again to the Je witness. Vais... Before I put the question, question to you, I would like to um, recall your Monsieur statement. You said that uh, sometimes you had to uh, work uh, until the morning uh, the next day, and I ask you whether or not that happened uh, often at the times, and if it did happen, uh, how uh, many times did that happen? You maintain that as your statement. Uh, response. Uh, just now I could understand your question. Now, for example, there was a one-week uh, plan. So uh, for the three months uh, period of work, uh, we had to uh, try to complete it and we worked uh, around the clock at that time uh, for, for the assigned uh, period to accomplish the uh, planned task. But if we could complete it earlier, we could also take the break. Uh, question. So avant, on avait le droit de une let me put, your, put the question again back to you. It means that uh, during 24 Ça hours, uh, during the uh, time when you had to be on the offensive to complete the project, you did not have time to uh, take a rest at all. Uh, by taking rest, I mean uh, going to bed at night. So under a uh, condition uh, which you said that uh, you had to be on offensive Donc because there was a plan for you to complete uh, the plan. project, can you please uh, tell the court how many hours did you work and how many hours did you uh, sleep at night? But Response. In the morning, after we uh, finish the work, we could uh, take a two-hour break. And in the evening, uh, after work, we could also take a break for two hours, too. So 
question. So was that the uh, general conditions or it was during the time when you were on the offensive to complete the project? Response. That was uh, during the time when we were on the offensive in order to complete the project as uh, planned, particularly in the place where it was under uh, constructed. Question. So what time did you start in the morning and what time did you stop uh, for the day and did you work in the evening? Response. During the uh, offensive, we did not care of the time uh, of the day. Uh, we only broke uh, during the daytime for lunch uh, for two hours and then we had to go down to work again uh, until five uh, and then we broke for another two hours before we got on to work again. Weskin, so about uh, in the evening, uh, can you tell the court if you had to work in the evening too? Response. If we could complete the project, for example, one week uh, project was completed, exemple, then we si could uh, take a rest as usual. Question. My question for you is the plan. You said for one week plan, uh, as you uh, 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 said just now, uh, did you have time to take a rest at night? Did you have time to sleep at night? Response. Within that one week plan, even if we could take rest at night, there was minimal time for us to, to rest. The president, uh, the prosecutor, uh, it is advisable that you uh, separate uh, the question so that it is succinct uh, for the witness. When you talk about the day, uh, it can be um, during the day times and the evening uh, and as well as at night. So you should uh, separate, you know, break your questions into several segments uh, with uh, your question when you say it, it is a day, uh, you, you can break it in morning, afternoons and evening or night time. Let me ask you again. So during the time that you were on the offensive to complete the project, following your um, dinner time, were you required to work after dinner? The president, the microphone was not activated yet. Please hold on. The witness. After work in the afternoons, we uh, broke uh, for two hours. So the time for break uh, was two hours, like after the lunch time as well in the evening. Prosecutor, my last question on this subject. So after uh, having dinner, uh, you took a break for two hours for the dinner and, and during that time. And then after that, you had to go down to work uh, until the next morning. Is that correct? Response. On the... Uh, Offensive, of course, uh, we, uh, that was the time that we were allowed to take rest. So we had to uh, work uh, around the clock. Uh, but uh, once the project was completed uh, on schedule, then uh, we could actually uh, rest as usual. Question. So if you did not have time to take a rest at all, were there any protest uh, from the workers saying that uh, they had to work long hours or they uh, wanted to only work during the daytime? Uh, were there any protests at all? Response. There were some protests, but we could Certains not uh, tell anybody. We only talked to mais among nous ourselves, but we dare not report soit, uh, to nous, others. Question. Uh, are you saying that that you were only talking to your friends and you uh, did not uh, uh, tell your superior? Is that correct? Is that what you are saying? Response. 
at that time we talk uh, to only our friends mm, uh, we uh, they are not uh, make it known to the upper echelon no anka question overall uh, for the working condition as well as the uh, food uh, regime for your uh, unit or your uh, colleagues uh, were there sufficient uh, food ration for uh, for you and your colleagues at the time response at the time we did not have sufficient uh, food once uh, they could uh, supply the food staff uh, on times, then uh, we could have uh, better rations uh, at uh, other times when uh, the supply was not uh, in time, uh, then we only uh, had access to watery cruel. Question. Question. Beside uh, the food rations that you were given, uh, what else uh, did you uh, have access to at that time in terms of food staff? Response. Sometimes we had uh, prahok uh, or dry fish or salt uh, whenever uh, they transported uh, to us from time to time. Cela était nous était livré. C'était à l'occasion. Question. Question. So overall, when I talk about food, uh, here we Donc, talk about the uh, the soup as well as the rice. De, so the uh, overall the quality of food uh, you had at your uh, unit and unit members, uh, did uh, it uh, resonate or commensurate with uh, the uh, labor requirement uh, for uh, for Mais your uh, project at the time that you were required to complete three travail. cubic meters uh, of dirt uh, per day, do you think that the food given was enough for you to endure such a hard work? Pour ce travail très ardu. Response. At the time, sometime we had uh, prahok or dry fish. We did not have enough uh, food and protein or energy to, uh, for us to actually complete three cubic meters of dirt uh, per day. Question. Uh, that uh, food ration was given to those who uh, completed uh, the uh, work quota uh, for the day. Uh, so how about those who failed to meet the quota uh, set uh, for the day? Uh, what was the food ration like for them? Response. At the times, uh, the member of the mobile uh, units were divided into three different les units. Uh, one unit was called a special uh, unit. Uh, they could com accomplish about uh, four or five cubic meters. They had access to a, a better uh, food rations. And there is another unit uh, uh, had a different uh, food ration. And another unit uh, which uh, there were or, you know, those who had uh, problems with their eyesight, uh, or then they were uh, put into another unit. Questions. Uh, you said that there were different units and they were given different food rations. Could you please be more precise? Just expand a little bit further on the food ration given to each unit. Uh, unit. A response. The first uh, un unit one, which could accomplish four uh, cubic meter per day, as for the food uh, uh, rations, uh, they were given about uh, two to three. Uh, 
a can of uh, rice, uh, the second unit uh, received only uh, maximum two cans of rice. Uh, and as for the third uh, unit, uh, they were only given usually half a can of rice or maximum one can of rice per day. Question. Earlier, I also uh, touched upon uh, those who did not meet the quota set and the punishment the uh, they got and uh, in the form of, for instance, the reductions of food exemple, ration for the day. So uh, what was the uh, punishment like uh, at the time for those who failed to meet the quota set? A response. Uh, could you please uh, repeat uh, your question? Question. Of course, uh, those who accomplished uh, the uh, project uh, set or the quota set, uh, they Ceux had this, you know, food uh, ration. How about those who could not meet the quota set? Uh, how did they go about uh, cutting the food uh, ration for uh, those who failed to meet the quota set? Response. Sometimes they starve uh, those who did not meet the quota at that stage. Uh, that was uh, one of the form of punishment. Question. So during the time that you mentioned that you were on the offensive, oh, did they supply more food ration than usual? De Response. Besides the uh, gruel um, that was given, uh, there was no any other uh, food uh, in addition to that. Maybe you got uh, confused with my question. I did not refer to the uh, nutrition or any other thing. Uh, but I uh, only talk about the regular uh, food you were given. Je parle ici de la que vous uh, for example, uh, the général. second uh, unit uh, who uh, exemple, were given only two cans of rice. Cans so if they, for example, were on the offensive, uh, were they given additional uh, ration? Response. At the time, once Anka set uh, two cans per person, there was no any supplementary or additional food ration to be given out. Question. Uh, with regard to the uh, food, uh, how about hygiene? Uh, do you think that the food was um, hygienic enough? de la salubrité de ces aliments. La réponse. At that times, the cooked food uh, was à uh, not hygienic, and there were lots of flies uh, around. Question: Were there lots of flies uh, at the time? Response. Réponse. Yes, um, and many people oui. fell sick, Et de gens sont and many were taken away for executions, Et and uh, because exécutés. they were accused of uh, conscious illness. Question. No, you said uh, that there were question. flies, and my question was that were there a lot of flies uh, back then? Response, yes, there were a lot of flies uh, at the times uh, they were, uh, yeah, questions. Uh, if there were lots of flies, uh, did Anka have any measure uh, to um, kill the flies or to keep the flies from uh, Spoiling the food. Uh, response At the times, there was no such plan against the flies uh, swarming the food. The light. 
question. How about the uh, water access? Um, uh, did you have access to drinking water, and was was it enough for you? Response. At the times, um, there were uh, trucks uh, carrying water to supply to us, uh, but they also divided into different uh, water regime uh, for, for the members. Question, was it sufficient for you? Response, during the meal times, we had uh, enough water to drink, but uh, we did not have water to drink when uh, we uh, took uh, rest. Question, how about the hygiene uh, standard? Was it uh, hygienic enough? Response. Um, the water was not uh, hygienic, it was not clean, because it was taken directly from the pond. Question. Uh, when you say that it was not hygienic, could you describe it? Uh, was it not boiled or because you could see by your naked eyes that uh, the water was uh, dirty or, or what? Response. When they uh, distributed uh, the water uh, to the unit, I uh, could notice it by my naked eyes that uh, it was not transparent, water was uh, not cleaned, and sometimes there was some uh, wheat as well in the mixed with the water. Question. And just now you uh, answer to some of my questions, particularly you mentioned that there were sick people. Were there many sick people at the time? Response. At the times, there were um, many sick uh, people, and uh, it depends on the conditions. Uh, some were uh, sent to hospital. Question. You say that some were sent to hospital. Where was the hospital located? Was there a hospital attached to that work site? Response. There was one medic uh, attached to one unit, but if uh, uh, one if uh, somebody was seriously sick, they would be sent to a hospital uh, located in Trapentmo Pagoda. Question. How about the level of his uh, professionalism? Uh, was that a uh, medic, uh, medic that you described, uh, uh, a trained uh, physician? Response. Medic at that time uh, did not have any qualification, uh, even if we, we were given the uh, rapid uh, drop uh, medicine all the times whenever we had any uh, illness. Question. So according to you, even those who receive the uh, medical attention at the unit or at the hospital that admitted the uh, patient, did you notice that uh, the, uh, the patient uh, ever recovered from the hospital after the treatment? Response. There were only a uh, few uh, who recovered uh, from uh, the illness after admitted to the hospitals, and the majority of them died. Thank you, Mr. Witness, for endeavoring to answer all my questions. Mr. President, I have no further question to the witness. The President, uh, thank you, International Prosecutor. You may uh, proceed. Merci, bon après-midi, Monsieur le Président, Thank Madame, you, Messieurs les Juges. Bonjour à toutes les parties, bonjour à vous, Monsieur le Témoin. Mon nom est Vincent Deville, et je vais vous poser d'autres questions au nom du bureau des coprocureurs. Et je vais peut-être reprendre les choses simplement dans leur ordre chronologique, en nous écartant pour un moment 
ce qui vous est arrivé avant cela. To what happened to you before Ma première question, c'est de savoir so si avant avril 1975, vous avez servi dans l'armée de l'ONOL. Et si oui, à quelle And période yes, et à quelle qualité, en quelle qualité And what was your position? I, I do not understand uh, your, your question. Bien, je répète la question. Est-ce que well, vous avez I'll été un soldat de l'ONOL avant avril 75, entre 72 et 74 Est-ce que vous avez été un soldat pour combattre les Khmer Rouges Were you a Lonol soldier fighting the Khmer Rouge? Uh, at the time, I uh, did not know for all oh, my the president. It might have been uh, an issue with the headset of the witness. It may have uh, run out of battery, says the president. Peut-être que ces écouteurs n'ont plus de pile. Je vais réessayer. Il n'y a pas de problème, monsieur le témoin. Je vais réessayer no et m'assurer que vous avez bien la traduction. Je voudrais savoir si avant avril 75, so avant que les Khmer Rouges arrivent au pouvoir, est-ce que vous avez été soldat dans l'armée de l'ONOL Regime, um, I was Sous a soldier in the army of uh, Lonol. Est-ce que vous étiez gradé ou bien simple soldat? Were you an officer or were you just an ordinary soldier? I did not have any rank. Je n'avais pas de grade. I was an ordinary soldier. Je un soldat ordinaire. Dans les jours et les semaines qui ont suivi la prise du pouvoir par les Khmer Rouges, le 17 avril 1975, quand ils ont pris Phnom Penh, est-ce que vous savez ce qu'il arrivait aux gens qu'on identifiait comme les anciens militaires de l'ONU Que faisaient les Khmer Rouges avec les anciens militaires, les anciens officiers de l'ONU dans votre district de Phnom Rock former Lonol officers in your district in Phnom Srok. But when the uh, Khmer Rouge soldier liberated uh, any region, the uh, Khmer Rouge soldier uh, was um, determined uh, to eradicate all uh, Lonol soldiers. Comment faisait-il pour identifier tous And les soldats de l'ONOL à l'époque At the times, uh, they appointed uh, the militiamen, and the villagers were turned uh, to the militiamen of the village, so nothing could hide uh, from them. Faisait rapport aux miliciens, et donc on ne pouvait rien leur cacher. Est-ce que les gens devaient établir également leur biographie? Were people obliged to write their biography? At the time, they took biographies, but those who were uh, loyal to Anka, uh, they told uh, the truth uh, in their biography, uh, but others, uh, they actually faked the biographies or they fled. Est-ce que vous savez où les gens de l'ONOL, les officiers ou des soldats de l'ONOL, étaient emmenés pour être exécutés officers or the rank and file were taken to to be executed at 
at the time uh, in my village Phnom Liep village uh, they would arrest uh, them and execute it uh, on the uh, foot uh, of the mountain uh, nearby uh, those who could escape uh, they survived but most of them were executed there Est-ce que vous-même avez failli être arrêté et qu'avez-vous fait you pour yourself vous échapper? Arrested. And if so, what did you do to escape from arrest? At that time, the Khmer Rouge uh, evacuated us from Phnom Liep to Phnom Kapuk Bao. And then I escaped uh, from there Moi, and I uh, joined a mobile unit. Et je suis entré dans une unité mobile. Est-ce que votre famille a été inquiétée du fait que vous étiez un ancien soldat? Was your family worried by the fact that you were a former soldier? At that time, my uh, father asked uh, the uh, militia uh, militiamen. Um, at that time, um, the militiamen uh, did not want to spar our family, so my father came back to me and told me to escape uh, for my life. I would like to remind you what you who sent an investigator to Alors, to au document E3 in 2011. It's on page 3 in French, 3 in English, 4 in Khmer. And page 3 in Khmer uh, in French. Vantan Dara qui vous pose la question suivante. And les Khmer Rouges avaient-ils recherché les membres de votre famille et Rouge vos parents, étant donné que vous étiez connus your and your parents, comme étant un soldat de l'ONOL Et vous avez répondu ceci. Ils savaient à propos de moi. Il faut préciser qu'à cette époque, les cadres de la zone sud-ouest n'étaient pas encore arrivés. Il y avait un certain degré de tolérance. C'est ce qui nous avait fait nous échapper. Mes parents n'étaient pas en danger. Fin de citation. Vous avez parlé d'un certain degré de tolérance de la part des cadres du nord-ouest avant que les cadres du sud-ouest n'arrivent sur place. Est-ce que vous pourriez expliquer ce que vous entendez par ce degré de tolérance What do you mean by this degree of tolerance, a certain degree of tolerance? President, please hold on, Mr. Whitney. You may now proceed, Mr. Copa. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, this line of questioning um, from the prosecution uh, is directly contrary to um, your decision as laid down in the E315, the sequencing decision in paragraph 14C, um, the treatment of <coughs> former Khmer Republic officials is limited to Trump Kok, the 1st January Dam. Krang Te Chan and S21. You made that specific ruling. I have objected already a few times uh, to this. It is outside <coughs> the scope and the sequencing order of the trial chamber. So, <coughs> sorry, uh, the prosecution should move on. Cette dernière question porte sur cette différence qu'il y avait entre les cadres du Nord-Ouest et les cadres du Sud-Ouest. C'est donc bien une question qui s'inscrit dans le cadre des purges qui se sont déroulées sur place et sur lesquelles je vais revenir tout à l'heure. Et j'étais curieux de savoir, à ce moment-là, pourquoi le témoin parlait d'un certain degré de tolérance étant donné que les cadres de la zone Sud-Ouest n'étaient pas encore arrivés sur place Given the fact that the Southwest cadres had not yet arrived where he was, can I proceed with my question, Mr. President?
The objection by the defense team, Mr. Kope, is overruled. The question is relevant to the topic regarding the purge. The chamber needs to hear the answer to the question put by the international deputy co-prosecutor. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur Thank le témoin, you, la question Mr. était de savoir ce que vous entendiez par Witness, le fait qu'il y avait un certain degré de tolérance, étant donné que le cadre de la zone ouest, sud-ouest n'était pas encore arrivé sur place. Si vous pourriez expliquer. Pourriez-vous expliquer ce que vous entendiez par ça The militia men are related to some of the soldiers. That's why there was a certain degree of tolerance. You said you were afraid that you fled. Vous étiez retrouvé dans la brigade mobile du secteur 5. Qui était vos chefs directs au sein de cette brigade mobile du secteur ou de la région 5 de la zone nord-ouest principal head that is Taval. Je connaissais le chef principal, c'est-à-dire Taval. Très bien. Very well. En dessous de Taval, qui était euh, le chef Taval, de, du bataillon who was duquel the battalion vous dépendiez à la fois lorsque vous travaillez to which you la construction de barrages avant d'arriver à Trappingtma et après que vous êtes allé par la suite à Kangva. Et avant que vous subsequent went to Kambor. Answer. My immediate uh, supervisors were Tako and Tavo. Il y a une dernière question peut-être avant la pause, Monsieur le Président. Vous avez dit tout à l'heure que vous aviez été chef de compagnie. Est-ce que c'est Taco et Tavorn qui vous ont nommé chef de compagnie Et combien y avait-il de travailleurs dans une compagnie ou une grande unité Regarding the company, the company was in charge of 100 members. And the platoon consisted of 300 members. J'ai entendu le mot section. Est-ce que le mot bataillon est correct aussi pour qualifier cet organe the word battalion so far is to describe this of the mobile, mobile unit which consists of 300 members because you talked of a battalion. Answer. At that time, it was arranged by Upper Anka. I uh, did not question that. Oui, donc au-dessus de yes. la compagnie de 100 so, hommes que vous dirigiez, quels étaient les autres échelons au sein de cette brigade mobile du secteur 5 Est-ce qu'il y avait d'autres échelons qui comprenaient plus d'hommes au-dessus de la compagnie that consisted of a larger number of persons in the company or above the company But Taval had an overall supervision over a battalion and a level above that. 
President, thank you, Mr. Deputy Co-Prosecutor from the international side. It is now convenient time for a short break, and the chamber will take a short break from now and till 3 o'clock. Court officer, please uh, find a proper room for this witness to get uh, with the duty counsel, and please have them return into the courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now in recess.